is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm really excited because I finally managed to get my hands on one of these Kvist Blade Works variant PE2s front flippers. This thing has a really cool design. It's got the titanium scales, the black washed 14C 28 end blade. And right off the bat, I can just say that the action on this thing is quite amazing. There's two main methods of deployment. We got the front flip action and we got the reverse flick action as well. It can be deployed in a few other different ways like this way. I'm not sure why you would deploy it like that. <laughs> but you can also deploy it on like the edge of something like I don't really have an edge nearby but bam just like that sort of and do the thumb flick sort of it's not super easy but but the reverse flick action and the front flip action is quite amazing and just the angle and the design of this kind of reminds me of the kaiser swayback the swayback i think kaiser makes that knife right but it has this like swooping angle the handle has a swooping angle and when you grab it makes you feel ready to just do some utility precision cuts you have this nice jimping on the spine of the blade here where the fl front flipper is but you can also use it for precision cutting the the lock bar does have a very nice cutout as you can see it makes the lock bar extremely accessible the pocket clip the clip is recessed but the screws are not it is a deep carry clip as you can see it is the clip and the hardware is black wash coated as well the clip works really well I'm a fan of the clip it goes in and out of the pocket very easily and I have been carrying this for the past few days and I'm liking it more and more the more I carry it so yeah guys I got this knife from knife joy it was a $99. I like Knife Joy because you can pay using the Affirm, which takes weekly installments, like four weekly installments. See a little bit more about the action. The detent on this is tuned to near perfection. The closing detent is pretty much non-existent. And yeah, it's very smooth. It is not drop shutty, but it's almost there. You just kind of have to shake it and it will just drop shut. This knife is going to be on ball bearings, guys. I'm not sure if it's a, I'm not sure if it is going to be ceramic bearings or steel bearings. So they have different versions available for this knife. They have the titanium scales. With the titanium scales, you can get the black wash blade, or you can get the satin finished, or I think it's maybe a stone wash blade, or you can get this version with the G10 or micarta. But I think those versions also have the stone wash or satin finished blade. The Kvist variant PE2 is probably mostly ideal for just EDC light tasks like opening packages considering it is 14C28N. It is a pretty good budget steel. A lot of people like that steel. It is really easy to sharpen though it doesn't hold an edge for a very long time. It is easy to sharpen and it is pretty tough for the price. And I kind of like that about this knife because it makes me feel like I can beat on it a bit more. It doesn't have super premium steel, so I don't feel bad if I do beat on it a little bit more. And I don't really have to worry about the blade chipping either because, yeah, 14C28N doesn't really have that problem very much. So, yeah, guys, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also, guys, subscribe to my channel if you are interested in seeing my content. I post a video weekly guys if you are a fan of front flipper knives i have another amazing front flipper that i recently posted a video on this is the petrified fish pf05 flavorist 100 drop shut action it's got a beautiful mosaic pin on there link will be in the description for that video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed making it you guys have a fantastic evening peace out